I would die before I let you take my daughter away from me again. You promise? All right, right. Can we not get into Look, this? Look, we got to get the hell off this island, all right? I'm going to see if I can find out where to disarm the security system. Ethan? Okay, uh, I was able to disarm the security system. There were no guards? Well, that's my other big news. Apparently, Grandfather's gone, and I don't know why, but there's no sign of any guards anywhere. That's strange. Could it be a trap? Well, yeah, it could be, but, uh, look, we stand nothing to lose by trying to get the hell out of here anyway. Yeah, we, look, we need to make a run for the landing strip. I don't care what Gwen thinks. She's got no legal right to my child. Teresa? Ethan's that baby's biological father, okay? So I want you to prepare yourself that he might try to get custody so we can give her back to Gwen. No. It's never. You will never take her away from me, Ethan. Never. Teresa, Gwen, and I are not going to take Jane away from you. Gwen, my does. wife and I discussed having a family another way. Look, I'll tell you exactly what I said to Gwen. A custody battle over Jane. What's it going to do? It's just going to prolong the feud between you and her and the families. And there's been too much grief. My father agrees, and that's why I convinced him to drop the charges against Gwen before I left Harmony. You had no Gwen, right to Gwen do that. Gwen was not in her right mind, Teresa, when she attacked you and when she took our baby. You, on the other hand, you knew exactly what you were doing when you assaulted our surrogate and you had yourself implanted with our embryos. Now, those are charges that could have been brought up against you. We didn't push it. So as far as I'm concerned, dropping the charges against Gwen pretty much wipes the slate clean. Sounds pretty reasonable to me. The trade-off for leaving Jane with you is that the fighting stops. The attacks, they stop. The revenge stops. You have my word, I will be the best father I can be to that little girl. But the family I have with my wife will come first. Do you understand me? If the plane's ready, I think we should uh, get out of here while we still can. I agree with Fox. We'll be long in a few. I'm gonna leave you alone to talk. Thanks. Listen, uh... <clears throat> Teresa, I, I know how much it hurt here, Ethan, choose Gwen over you, but you're gonna get past this, okay? You'll move on. You'll figure out a way to make a life for you and little Ethan and little Jane here, all right? Oh, no. What's going on in that topsy-turvy brain of yours? I don't have to build my life without Ethan. Oh, well, maybe it's not too late for me to find a guard to shoot me. I can still live my dream. I'm gonna make Ethan mine again. Sweetheart, Mommy's gonna get your daddy back. Teresa? How can you have a life with Ethan? He, he just chose Gwen over you. That's, that's the end of the story. It's not the end of the story. Really? Well, then let the plane wait. Why don't you tell me the rest of the story? I'm dying to hear this one. Okay. Once upon a time, there was this woman. And she went to prison. And her husband didn't see her for 35 years. What? 
Look, Fox. Gwen tried to kill me multiple times in Harmony. Again here tonight. She kidnapped my child. She fled the country with Jane. She's an international fugitive. And when I get back to Harmony, I'm going to refile those charges against her. I'm going to have her rearrested and tried and sent to prison for a long, long time. And then Ethan will finally be mine. Oh, please, God, not another seduction. This isn't about seduction, Fox. This is about getting back the man that I love, the father of my child. Look, he's going to be all alone. And who do you think he's going to turn to? Hmm. You. Exactly. Even if he wants to stay married to Gwen, okay? He can't have the life that he wants to have with her if she's in prison. But he can have that life with me, Fox, and little Ethan and Jane. Okay. So please, slow down, all right? In fact, why don't you back up? Now, look, Ethan told you that you could keep little Jane here, all right? As long as you did not fight with Gwen. Look, I'm not fighting Gwen. All right, I'm fighting to get Ethan back. Well, what you're doing is splitting hairs, actually. No, look, I can see it happening, okay? Even if, if Ethan doesn't want to marry me and I don't become Mrs. Ethan Winthrop, I'll have Ethan. And if he wants to go visit Gwen in prison once a month, that's fine by me because I'll have him day and night the rest of the time. I would rather take 35 years of being with Ethan, even if it means not being married to him. Wow. Fox. I'm going to get Ethan back along with Jane and little Ethan. I am going to have everything I've ever wanted. I'm going to make sure that Gwen never gets out on parole. Mm. I'm going to go to every hearing to remind the board exactly what Gwen did to me and what she did to Jane. Gwen's never going to get out of prison, Fox, ever. Is it cold in here or is it just you? No. This is about love, Fox, and family. And I know you understand that. So be happy for me, okay? I'm gonna get Ethan back. Gwen's gonna go to prison. That's what I call justice.